Uzbekistan didn't have rock stars, but they had Imran Khan. Star cricketer, playboy, and role model, that's Pakistan's leading opposition politician, Imran Khan. His legendary sports career and colorful private life have always kept him in the limelight, and he's attracted the love and devotion of countless fans. But he's more than just an enigmatic sports superstar. Last year, the country's then Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif was ousted and barred from politics on corruption charges. He's now been sentenced to 10 years in prison. This has pushed Khan into an even stronger position ahead of the July 25th elections, and some recent polls show his party is gaining more ground. So let's take a look at the whole picture. Who is Imran Khan? Khan was born in 1952 in Lahore to a well-off Pashtun family. He received an Oxford University education studying politics and economics, but his real passion was sports. He began, as most greats do, playing at a very early age, in Pakistan and then continuing in England. And even today, more than 25 years after his retirement, he's still considered one of the greatest cricketers of all time. He led Pakistan to their first ever World Cup title in 1992, playing a pivotal role in the final against England. Then at the peak of his career, he retired, and four years later entered politics by forming his own party, the Pakistan tehreeki e insaf the movement for justice. But his popularity in sports didn't translate into politics, at least not right away. In fact, when he first ran in the 1997 elections, his party failed to win a single seat. Khan is center-right on the political spectrum, but many people are confused by his political leanings because apparently he often alters his opinions based on his audience. His party gets their strongest support from the youth and the urban middle class. They have run in three elections and are slowly becoming recognized as a real political force. Terrorism is still a huge challenge for Pakistan, and Khan has a novel approach to fighting it. Despite the wide criticism, he thinks that talking with the Taliban is the way to go. He even earned a nickname for that, Taliban Khan. Pakistan's interest that there is peace in Afghanistan. Now, how do we get peace? In my opinion, uh, what the US has got so wrong is that they have this one-dimensional policy of uh, using military force. His party's performance in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, the province they govern, still falls short of its electoral promises, according to many people, although there have been visible reforms in education and healthcare. He's not very experienced in governance or diplomacy, but Khan is confident about his approach. He says he'll wipe out corruption, bring in foreign investment, and provide better jobs to the youth. He also promises changes in the agricultural and educational fields, and wide-ranging reforms in tax collection. His party's manifesto emphasizes the importance of internal peace as well. It says, quote, We will act against hate speech and violence towards minorities, ensuring constitutional rights for minorities. Khan's PTI released a roadmap on foreign policy a while ago with a new strategy for conflict resolution and wants to improve relations with Pakistan's eastern and western neighbors. Resolving the Kashmir issue is also on the agenda of Khan's party, but how he plans to do it is still up in the air. No profile on Imran Khan is complete without looking into his marriages. Khan was a bachelor for the first 42 years of his life, but in the last 24 years, he's married three times. First to Jemima Goldsmith, the daughter of a Jewish billionaire who converted to Islam before their union. Then to Rahma Khan, a journalist and film producer, and now Bushra Manika, a woman whom he refers to as a spiritual advisor and faith healer. The couple got married in February this year. With all the changing faces, many people are curious to see how he would be as the head of the nation. But in order for Pakistan to witness Imran Khan, the political leader in action, they'll have to decide at the ballot box.